Bruno. Hi, sir. How are you? Good, mate. How many birds you got lined up in Canty? Oh, what are they, sir? Been waiting so long. What does that look like? Oh, yeah. I told you, sir, we're getting a bit worried about Bruno. Right on. Oh, you reckon, eh, Sheffy? Yeah, reckon. Hey, come in. I'll give you a kiss there. Give you a kiss? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Hey, Bruno, you better get out of this bush. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bruno, you better get out of this bush. Still got that cigar tucked away in your kit? Yes, sir. <laughs> what if it's a false alarm, eh? She's been kidding you. Better not be, sir. I bought a little pair of footy boots for her. <laughs> what if it's a girl? Why can she still play footy, sir? <laughs> not long now, eh? Sometime the next two or three days. Well, we're due back in Cairns midday tomorrow, so it should be okay. This is your first kid? I even went to those prenatal classes with the missus. I'm going to be there for, you know, the whole thing. Sir? Uh, yes, Charge. It's the office air conditioner, sir. Yeah. We'll have it working before tomorrow. If then. Oh, uh, well, so we can fix it in Cairns, eh? Uh-huh. So long as we're underway, it doesn't matter. Aye, right, sir. All right. How's he working out? Oh, good. Oh, he's a new broom, you know, but he knows his job. Yeah. We'll have Jeff back next week, anyway. Right. Yes, Nobby? Signal, sir. Navy Office Command in Queensland. Keep this to yourself, will you, Nobby? Aye, aye, sir. X. Yep. I'll have a word with you in my cabin. Now, what is it, Nob? Hey, Nobby. It's not a signal from the missus, is it? I'm expecting no. one about my kid. No, no, it was nothing to do with that. It was from Knock. job to do. What now? Now, proceed to Pasco Bay, anchor out of sight of open sea, and remain in position until 1200 hours Saturday. Six days. <sighs> Just been on patrol for six weeks. Restrict signal traffic to essentials only. Well, we've got a few troubles. I mean, with the aft air conditioner shot, six days in this heat without moving, it's going to cause us a morale problem for a start. I don't think we should do it. Ah, oh, well, we'll get by. It's not going to kill anyone. Maybe not, but it's going to be damned uncomfortable. And all for what? I mean, what are we going to be doing in Pasco Bay? It's the end of the earth. They don't say why they want us there, Charlie. Well, the troops are going to ask. Can't we at least find out? Look, you read the order. Restrict signal traffic to essentials only. Now, I don't think it's essential. The troops have to know what we're doing there. Inform Mawson, will you? Tell him there is a good reason for the delay in getting back. Sir, 
big wick, stuck, hasn't it? Well, we're supposed to be coming off this flaming patrol, not going on it. Big, mate. Sorry about this, Bruce. It's bad luck. This is going to be wild, sir. I reckon she's going to be too busy to even notice you're not there. Yes, sir. Look, I know it's a hell of a letdown for you. And if there was anything I could do, I would, but I can't. Sir? Could I send a signal to her? Just to let her know that I'm not off on the booze somewhere? Well, she knows you're not on the booze. Anyway, she'll have been informed by now. The change in our ETA cans. I'm pretty sure that Cairns is going to signal us as soon as there's any news about the baby. Okay? Well, that's all. Aye, aye, sir. This is going to be a bitch of a job and there's no point in denying it. It's going to be monotonous and hot and bloody uncomfortable. Far from that, it'll be a piece of cake, eh? Yeah, right. Oh, Charge, what are the odds of getting that air conditioner fixed? No, I can't answer that, sir, till I pull it down. Well, how long is that going to take? Oh, two, three hours. Make it as quick as you can, will you? If we can solve that, half our problems are fixed. Hark's asked to ask a question down there, sir. Yeah. What if Charge can't fix it? Are you going to call it off? Ambush has been ordered to stay in position until Saturday. You are as aware as I am that the main problem is going to be morale. It's up to us all to set an example. Keep the men busy and their minds off for this one. That's about all it is bloody good for. The nearest civilization's about 200 miles that way and 500 miles that way. What do you reckon we're supposed to be looking for in a place like this, Parks? Oh, I don't know. You asked Nobby, he took the signal. Give it a rest, Parks. Supposed to be a good place to land drugs. Drugs? What do you do with drugs here, eh? What's in there? There's nothing in there. There's no roads, there's no bloody airfields. What are you going to do with drugs here? Well, I don't know. There must be bloody something. Mate, wait till this afternoon. Charge might have got the air conditioner fixed by then. Oh, yeah, and fixed my fly. What did he know about small ships, eh? He spent all his time on big ships. Glad he's only on for this trip. I don't know. That's right, Blue, you don't know. Did he say anything this morning, Bruce, about why we're here? No, nothing. Pepped off, that's all. Didn't he tell you why we're in Pasco Bay? No, why the hell should he tell me anything? Orders, that's all. Oh, for crying out loud, he kept you here while your kid was being born. You've got a right to know why, ain't you? Yeah, what difference does it make? We're all going to sit around and stew anyway. No, we ain't all going to sit around and stew. That forward air conditioner ain't broken down, has it? Those senior sailors and bloody officers ain't even going to get warm. We're the only bastards here that are going to stew, you know? Yeah, it's going to get a lot worse, too. Hey, Judge, how's it going? Did you get our air conditioner working? As he did. You should be opening it, Dylan. Why? Well, if he didn't, they're going to have to abandon this mission and then we can clear off back to Cairns. Yeah. What do you mean it's crook? It's crook, that's all. Well, we'll smother it with garlic and olive oil and then you'd love it. What would you know about good food anyway, isn't it? You flaming Australians ain't nothing but meat pies and corn flakes. We taught you how to eat. Oh, yeah, you taught us spaghetti and cardboard bloody pizza. Oh, for God's sake, shut up. A pair of you. He's not complaining about the cooking. He's complaining about the steak. Well, it's the same thing. No, it is not the same thing, Borgia. It's cooked all right. It's off. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, what do you reckon? It's cooked. Right. Can you get overboard and get some fresh stuff out of the freezer? This stuff is from the freezer, Rex. I brought it up this morning. No luck, sir. Can't be fixed. 
It's a gas leak, sir. A whole bunch of tiny holes in the condenser. Can't you top the gas up or something? We could, sir. We've got a small reserve. But it would only leak out again after a matter of hours, and then we'd have nothing for the Ford air conditioner in case we need it. Oh, damn. You gather you can't fix it? Uh, no, sir. Well, it's probably irrelevant now, anyway. Why? We've lost almost all of our fresh stores. What? How did that happen? The has gone bung, sir. It's okay yesterday, but now it's full of water. Oh, bloody hell. What next? What's the damage? Well, we've got enough dry provisions to uh, get us back to Cairns. I didn't ask about Cairns. I'm not worried about getting back to bloody Cairns! Have we enough provisions to last us six days and then go back to Cairns? Well, nobody's starved, if that's what you mean, sir, but it's going to be pretty rough. I'll scramble towards the end. Well, you've got tin stuff, haven't you, huh? Flour? Yeah, I've yeah, got dried fruit, uh, some eggs, vegetables, but uh, it's not going to last in this heat. Well, empty one of the beer fridges out. Store the vegetables and eggs in there. The troops aren't going to like that, but... The troops don't have to like it. You store everything you can in the beer fridges. Then work out what you're going to be able to feed us and report back. I want to see a menu. All right, sir. You better check on that freezer. Right, sir. I'll check the anchor bearings, sir. I wonder if I might have a few words with you in your cabin, sir. All right, what's on your mind, Charlie? Well, I just don't think you've given sufficient consideration to the total situation we have here. Six days without fresh victuals and no air conditioning is going to cause us hellish problems. Are you trying to tell me that I haven't thought the matter through properly? I am simply trying to register a difference of opinion as tactfully as possible. Which I'm beginning to find just a little bit difficult. Yes, all right. We'll say what you have to, X. Well, if I could just reiterate the following facts. One, we've been on patrol now for six weeks and the troops are getting pretty tired. Two, the temperature in the aft mess could well reach 40 degrees by midday, probably won't be much less by midnight. Three, the scran is going to get progressively worse. We're all going to get bored stiff. The beer's going to get warm, and to cap it all, we don't know why the bloody hell we're here anyway. We're here because we're bloody well ordered to be here. Well, from the troops' point of view, that would appear to be a pretty mindless reason in this day and age. Mindless or not, it does happen to be one of the great service traditions that we follow orders, and that seems to be something you might have forgotten. I'm going to need every bit of support I can get from you in the next few days, Charlie. Oh, I see. Brought Miss Horner from the Borgia. Yeah, right. It's not going to do much for morale, is it? Blokes find out the boss next can't even agree if we should be here or not. As senior sailors, you're supposed to boost morale, keep a tight ship, set an example, instead of sitting around here like a bunch of old women gossiping. Yes, sir. Why aren't you out there rigging up an awning over the quarter deck? I'm waiting, sir. See if we're staying or not. Well, of course we'll be staying. You heard the CO's decision. Oh, Too late to sleep, mate. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to get much cooler tonight either with this steel hole. Yeah. Tough. Heard the latest? You're going to stop the cold beer ration. No, it doesn't worry me too much. It's a bit bloody high-handed, though, isn't it? Oh. Suppose you're more worried about your missus. Yeah. She's a bit... scared about having a kid, you know? Bloody sister of hers is going to be no good to her. You were going to be there, weren't you? Like when it happened? Yeah. You're a better man than I am, Gunga Din. I don't reckon I could do that. Yeah, it looks like I won't be there either now. It's tough, isn't it? It ain't right, you know, what the old man's doing. It shouldn't be allowed. It's allowed to do anything he bloody likes. He's the captain. It ain't as simple as that. We've got regulations and instructions. We've got rights, you know. Like what? Well, for a start, the right to complain. You see that there? That is up in every mess in the Navy. So what? What the hell good does whinging about it do? It ain't whinging. It's, it's a question of human rights. All right, but what good does it do? Well, if you push your complaint far enough, eventually it has to go on record. And then the brass has to look at it, right? Now, no captain wants that, does he? Wait a minute. You're not going over the boss's head. Well, what if I don't get any satisfaction? What are you going to complain about? The heat. That's right. The heat? Oh, don't be stupid. What can he do about the temperature, for crying out loud? He's only a captain, isn't he? Not God. What do you blokes want to do then, eh? What do you want to do? You want to stay here or do you want to go back to Cairns? 
Hey? Well, I'm going to do something about it. Oh, well, there's nothing anybody can do, Parks. Well, is there? Is that all you've got to say about my complaint, Coxon? Yes, that's all. Well, in that case, I'm not satisfied. I'd like my complaint passed on to a higher authority. That's your right? I know. Yes, Parks, that is all. What more do you want? Well, I'm still not satisfied, sir. I'd like my complaint to go to the captain. By all means. Leading Seaman Parks. Salute. Leading Seaman Parks wishes to state a complaint, sir. Very well. Stand at ease, Parks. Can I assume that this complaint is the same one you expressed to the executive officer? Yes, sir. I understand that the executive officer has explained to you that we're here because we've been ordered to be here. And that we know conditions are difficult, and we will all do our best to make things more livable in the afterness. Yeah, well, I don't think that's good enough, sir. Because as far as I can see, nothing can be done about the conditions. So I reckon we ought to return to Cairns, sir. Thank you, ex-Swain. I think I'd like a word privately with leading Seaman Parks for the moment. Sir. Sir. Nobody said you were going to lead a life of luxury all the time, Parks. I don't think it is a question of luxury, sir. I just don't think the men should be subjected to the conditions that they are being subjected to at the moment, sir. The men? I thought you were complaining for yourself. Well, I'm the leading seaman of the after mess, sir, and also president of the mess. And therefore, I consider it my duty to consider the men, sir. So you are representing them in this matter, acting as a deputy? No, sir. I was just That's speaking... good, Parks. Because you know it's an offence to deputise. To do so amounts to incitement. I was just speaking for myself, sir. Have you ever thought of exercising your duties in accordance with regulations and instructions? Petty officers and leading sailors must possess personality intact and be ready to accept the responsibilities of their position. They are to set an example of loyalty and discipline and are to obey the orders of their superiors with the same cheerfulness and alacrity with which they expect to be obeyed by those junior to them. Commanding officers look to them for loyal support in maintaining the efficiency and traditions of the Navy. Do I have your loyal support, Parks? I reckon I'm within my rights, sir. And I reckon the men will handle this condition as it is a lot better, sir, if they knew the reason why they were here. So if you could just tell us, sir, what it is that's so important. You don't need to know what we're doing here, Parks. You, like everybody else, are following orders. That's what you're doing here. Yes, sir. That's all, leading Seaman Parks. Sir, I don't... That is all. Yes, sir. X. Sir. Well? It's a bloody troublemaker. He's made a formal complaint. If one of the men gets sick now because of the conditions he's complained about, it could get awkward. Well, we'd better make sure that they don't get sick, hadn't we? Well, that's easier said than done. Look, nobody's going to be able to sleep in the aft mess until the hull cools down. Yes, I've been thinking of that. And morale is going to be twice as bad tomorrow if they don't get a decent night's sleep. So, any suggestions? Well, they could sleep on the beach. Yeah, I agree. And I think as a gesture, one of us should lead the beach party. Yeah? Which one of us? Well, I am the captain. Mm. Stupid, no one's gonna sleep here tonight.
Flies on that beach as big as hornets. Then about three o'clock in the morning there was that bloody thunderstorm. Yeah. So the men went below, but it must have been unbearable. And that heat, no air circulating. You can imagine the stink. I tell you, that stoker ought to see a doctor. Well, didn't anybody get any sleep? What the hell do you think? I don't know. I wouldn't push them too hard today, though. Well, it's going to get worse if you let them sit around doing nothing. You ought to get some games organised. Uh, quizzes, horse races, that sort of stuff. Oh well, God. anything you can come up with to break the monotony. You have not. No. You might at least do us the courtesy of letting us know what the bloody hell we're supposed to be doing here. Look, what was in that signal, Nobby? Hey, you bloke. Check that out. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, what's she doing up here? I don't know, mate. Get the binoculars, mate. Yeah. You get them, mate. No, you get them. Go on, get the binoculars. Yeah. 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 What's she doing up here, though? I don't know, mate. Looks like a gun anchor. Yeah, but, uh, what's she going to anchor up here? I don't know. No, no it's, it's not. It's your. It's a bloody catch. Beautiful yeah. Where? 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 Is that the bloody reason we're here, Nobby? Mate. The trolls? Who the hell's you know, they sent him here to stay the rendezvous. Too far, mate. You reckon, Bruno? Well, there's a double bed on board. They don't look like they're in trouble. Can't see any damage. No. I suppose if they needed help, they'd ask for it. How many do you reckon take the handler? Two? Three? No, nah, four. Could be five, I reckon. Maybe five, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, girls, closer. Closer. Don't drop the pig there! I wonder if they're why we're here. I've just taken a look, Charles. Think you can fix it? Oh, here's the work on the refrigerators. Uh, the boys asked me to have a look. Well? Finished. It's kaput. In that case, you can go back to the art mess and tell them the new charge knows his job. Gold chip. Stoker. Yes, sir. Geez, your feet stink, Bluey. Listen, I just had a shower. Listen, you, I don't want none of your bloody toe jam in my bunk, all right? But if you don't get your feet out of here, I'm going to ram those clippers right down your throat, OK? Get off my back, will you, you bloody ethnic? 40 degrees, this is pathetic. What's it for? Eh? Hey, what's it for? Uh, we got him scared, he's on the run. Yeah? What if they say we've got to stay? Keep the pressure up, little chicken now. Get two up there. I'm going up on deck. Me too. Can't stand it. What's it? There was three of them, mate. Some back on the foredeck. Naked. Two blondes and one redhead. Fantastic, mate. Three of them. And you actually saw them. One of the greenies did. Oh, so near and yet so far, mate. Not that far, mate. Do you reckon there are actually sea wasps down there? 
No bloody fish, that's for sure, mate. I'm going for a swim tonight. Over there. Yeah? Me too, mate. What the heck? What's the few sea wasps, eh? The rat! The rat! What is it, mate? I don't know. Let's oh, check it out. Poor bastard. Quick, get him! 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 It's getting out of hand, bloody lunatics. Knock it off! That was the most disgusting display I've ever seen in the Navy in my life. You're supposed to have some sort of self-discipline. You're not kids at a boarding school, you're men. Or well, you're supposed to be. Now, I don't want to hear any more whinging and whining about the heat, the food, or the hot beer. You lot need a bit of toughening up to make you fit to serve in this ship. charge anyone? Look, David, will you reconsider cancelling? Send an intense signal, returning to Cairns. Look, this whole thing could get out of hand. There's parts complaint, somebody could get sick. We could end up with a real riot. Yeah, okay. I'll ask what the hell we're doing here, what this job's all about, and then I can judge whether it's worth it. Fair enough. Hey, good what? girls. What? Keep going. Nah. Nah. Oh. Oh. All I wanted to do was talk to the wreck. It's all you wanted, mate. It's not what I Maybe wanted. Maybe there weren't any girls anyway. Well, the big ones there, Rick. Nobody saw them, did they? Not there. Nah. Stephen Morton? Sir? Congratulations, Bruce. You're a father. Your wife's had a baby boy. Both doing well. I'll be bloody damn. How about that? A boy? That's what it says. Hey, what is it, Morse? 
It's a boy! Hey! News for Bruce Morrison. Yeah. <laughs> Not so good for us. Yeah. Prefer our 060930, notwithstanding your difficulties. Remain in your position in accordance with previous orders. Notwithstanding your difficulties. Look, uh, X, clear lower decks, will you? Get them in, Enrique. Nice. That's the clear lower decks. Muster on the quarterdeck in five minutes. Rig 10A. Low deck clear, sir. Your ex, stand a minute. Aye, sir. Ship's coming in. Stand at east. Judging from your behaviour this morning, I think that some of you might have forgotten what we're doing here. We're serving our country, that's what we're doing. I know it's become fashionable to talk about rights instead of duties, to talk about civil liberties instead of service responsibilities. But what some people seem to forget is that every man's rights in this nation of ours, every man's liberty, depends on the willingness of men like you to do your duty. Not just do your duty in wartime, but to do it here, now, today. I know that might be a bit hard for you to see at the moment, stuck out here at the back end of bloody nowhere, but it's the truth. And the day this country can't depend on the men in its fighting forces, you can forget all about Australia. Now we've been given an uncomfortable, unpleasant, bloody, boring job to do, but it is a job, and we are going to do it. We've been ordered to stick around here for another three days, and that is exactly what we're going to do. And I don't want any more hassles like this morning's incident. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Parks? I understand that the job we're doing is important, sir. But could you tell us exactly what it is? I thought I'd just told you that, Parks. I was wondering if you could be a bit more specific, sir. You are doing exactly the same as I am, Parks. You're following orders. Sir. Thank you, Rex. Carry on. Aye, sir. Ship's coming in. Okay, we're going to have a banyan and a game of baseball on the beach. Ship's company. This. Thanks, mate. Yeah, make it. Thanks, Sean. Sure. Okay. One for your kid, Morsey. Star, right? Ah, oh, please yourself. Yeah, Bill. You tell him, mate. Oh, put it away. Oh, don't be revolting, Swain. Now yeah, jump on this one. It's easy. Come on, move it. Yes, sir. Hey, sir. Hello. 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 Oh, no. Had to work up a bit of steam. Go, right, sir. Right, Mark. Mark. Big one. Yep. Right, yeah. Whoa! 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 Whoa!
of the way. Give him some air. Right, right? What's up? Yeah. yeah. Look at it. All right. What is it, Bill? I reckon it'll be heat exhaustion, sir. All right, I'll get him back on board. Come on, you blokes, move. Come on, give us a hand here. Give him the fire at me. Watch his head. Got him, mate. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Easy. Easy. Yep. There he is. Come on. Come on, move it, please. You got him by the short and curlies now, mate. How'd you work that out? Well, he kept us here despite my official complaint, and despite the fact that the XO disagreed with him. He stuck his neck out trying to make himself look good, see? I mean, what's he going to look like now with morse down with heat exhaustion? All we're going to do is write you off to the troublemaker parks. That's the end of it. Yeah, not if you lot back me up, he won't. If we get 12 individual statements of complaint, we'll get Keating off this ship. I guarantee it. Well? I don't know. He's all right. Well, what do you want? All I'm asking for is a bit of support. Why don't you ask Mawson then, mate? He's the one that's crook. Well, you know what he's going to say, don't you? Huh? I mean, Keaton kept him here while his kid was being born in Cairns. Well, what do you expect him to say? Well, let's just ask him. All right. If he complains, you are well, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Well, meantime, I'm going to do something on my own. Hey. Don't do us any favours. We can look after ourselves, OK? Yeah. Looks like it. This time. Well, as far as I understand, sir, if a complainant is not satisfied with his captain's ruling, he can request that his statement of complaint be forwarded to the administrative authorities. Hmm. I request that my statement of complaint be passed on to a higher authority, seeing as what happened to Morse and seeing as we still ain't going back to Cairns. Anywhere else leading Seaman Parks, and that statement could be interpreted as blackmail. Well, it ain't right, sir, that anybody should have to live and work as we are. You know something, Parks? I don't think you're suited to small ships. I'm having you posted. One of us is going to have to leave this ship, sir. I'll have a look at him, Well, I'm the leading seaman. I have to look after the men. The men have the opportunity of lodging their own separate and individual complaints. And they'll all lodge them, sir, every single one of them, and then we'll see who leaves this ship. Control yourself. Yeah. Morrison's regaining consciousness, sir. How is he? Well, he seems to be all right. Was it heat exhaustion? I don't know. Carry on, Pax. All right, all right, sir. Having him posted, we can cause trouble, David. If the rest of the crew decide to lodge complaints too, particularly in the light of Morrison. Well, if either they or I are going to be influenced by the likes of Parks, then maybe we're all better off out of it. Listen, mate, I've got it all set up. All you've got to do is sign a statement of complaint saying it was the heat, and then we got him. All the lads are going to back you up. They're just waiting for you to say the word. Why me? Listen, mate, this is it. It's them or us. All my life they've been pushing me around. Now it's our turn. Look, if you'd been an officer, they would have laid on a special helo to get you back to your wife, see? Privileges. What's the difference between them and us? Why should they have the privileges, eh? Listen, mate, why should they be the officers then? You answer me that. What's the difference between them and us, eh? Democracy, mate, that's what we want. Officers voted in by the crew. Now that's democracy. That's the way it's going to be. That's the future. There's going to be no more of this rank and privilege, mate. This is just a start. We can get Keating. I don't think you've got your priorities right, Parks. Look, he didn't give a stuff about you, mate. It's your turn now. All you've got to do is sign that statement of complaint, say it was the heat, I'll do the rest. <coughs> well, how are you feeling this morning, Abel Seaman Morrison? I'm all right, thank you, sir. You know, if you've got sunstroke, you should be down below. I reckon I'm all right. You reckon you can handle it for another three days? Three more days, sir? Yeah. I thought we might be going back. That's one buzz that I haven't heard. Look, I know it's tough for you. That's why I'm asking you. Do you think you can take it for the next three days? I can take it, sir. It wasn't the heat that knocked me out anyway. A couple of the blokes came in their beer issue. You know, to celebrate the kids, sir. It was drinking hot beer in the sun that knocked me out. Not heat exhaustion. You know you can be charged on that, don't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll be damned. 
Well, I suppose it's one way of winning the baby's head. Carry on. Back back into the fishing, eh? Yeah. Five to one for the first barramundi court. Who's on? You're on now, mate. Right here. Yeah. Three more days, eh? Yep. Both engines. Both engines, sir. Both engines, both engines. 